Okay, so the last one didn't want to work for me, uh, so the sound went off. So here's another one, um, and we'll just basically do it again. Um, so basically this is a quick animation tutorial um, for GIMP. Um, so I'm just going to take you through quickly how to animate. It's not very hard at all. Anyone can do it. It took me a little while to figure it out, but it's pretty simple once you got it. Um, so this is the image we're going to be doing. We're just going to do a simple like eye blink. Um, we could do clouds, but you know, once you've got the gist of how to animate anyway, it'll be pretty okay. Um, so what we want to do is you want to duplicate your layer. Um, and then basically what we're going to do on this layer here um, is we're going to do the actual second frame of the eye blink. Um, and so you're going to come down here. You're going to take whatever color you need to have around it. And all we're going to do for an eye blink is just quickly fill in here. And then just give the eye a little bit more definition. So I'm going to take this, add a bit of that. As I zoomed out, you can see the eye is now closed. <laughs> um, and so that's all you really need to do to actually alter the frames. And then to actually get some animation going, all you need to do is you need to put in the amount of milliseconds that you're actually doing. Um, so for the first frame, where well, there's actually nothing there, um, so the eyes still open, I'm going to do 2,500 milliseconds. Um, and make sure you hit enter, don't just click off. Um, and then for the second layer, I'm just going to do 50 milliseconds, because that's going to be the length that the actual blink is taking place. Um, and then once you've put in your milliseconds for each layer, um, you've got two filters here. Come down to animation, go to playback, and so you bring up this, um, this window here, and all you use hit play, and down here you'll see that it will start animating for us. So there you go. This is basically how you do it. Um, and then say for example if you wanted more frames in it, so say if you wanted to like make some clouds move up here or whatever, you just simply um, add more frames, um, and also them, you know, however you like. Um, and make sure you put in the milliseconds, otherwise it'll just put it down to a default one. Um, so that's it and how to actually animate it. Um, just make sure when you go to save, whoops, you go to save, um, you go to save as, um, and make sure you put in as a GIF. So save it wherever you need to put it, save. And this little thing will come up, so make sure you click save as animation, go export. Wait for it to save. Please don't crash on me. You save. And then yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, it'll come up with a little OC and the thing I just closed really quickly. Um, there's actually an option to say you know, loop um, forever or whatever. Um, so it just depends on what your preferences are really. Um, so yeah, make sure you save it as a GIF. Um, make sure you have the milliseconds here. You do your alterations and um, yeah, just play around with it really. And um, yeah, I'd say that is about it. Yeah, have fun animating.